What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is a Third Person Podcast. That's Mike. What's up? I'm Chris. And guys, we're going back into the Badlands. Mike and I uh, have a bunch of theories. We said we we're going to give you some theories uh, post-mid-season three for Badlands. And uh, this is our first one here. So um, w- this time around, we're going to be calling this one the uh, Meridian Chamber Theory, asking the question, what happened to civilization? Yes. What's I mean? Listen, we we start off and we get this this insane room and this 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 insane computer system, whatever whatever this is, and we know that it was from five hundred years prior. We know that there's a totally different group of people living nowadays. So we kind of want to get into what happened to these people once yeah. they this gift was unearthed. And I was thinking, and I'm wondering if it was a big conflict between the haves and the have nots the people that can afford technically this this gift or not um or was it just so easily obtained and given out that that was the main cause of of humanity okay just right yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna stop you there for one second because before we get into that just in case everyone missed it because um not many of us go back and watch this stuff so when when people are watching these videos right so Basically, what we know about the Meridian Chamber is that there was a, a, a source of power found in the Earth, and people and they tapped into that, and it they were a, this this chamber was one of possibly many that gave people the ability that this black gift, right? Th- yeah. This is what we know. Am I, yeah. So everyone with me so far? <laughs> we also know that it was 500 years ago, like Mike said. But also that it was the downfall of civilization. So that's yeah. what th- that's what this is about. But I wanted to catch everyone up in case they didn't remember. Plus to remind myself, right? Yeah. Well, just get on it. If you didn't know that before we started the video, you should know. <laughs> what it are already. you doing here? No. Um, right. But yeah. yeah. So, so so that's where that's where we're we're really starting with this with this video is what happened. They gave to, people right to they, us. Yeah. And <laughs> that's the thing. Was it something easily obtained? Was it was it? Um, just an overall downfall downward spiral because there were so many people with it. And uh, I mean, what do you think about that? What, what, how do you think that this, because we know that the machine could take and give, right? You would think that if there was Wait, such a do powerful, we know it takes, it does. Yes. They could take it and give it. Okay. So in this world, say we had this machine that we just came, came up with, right? You know how, um, it, this this wouldn't be something that the, any old poor person or of low means well, would be able to obtain, it, right? right? Naturally, the rich are gonna the the, the that yes yes. So if the government that is, steps in, puts right? a control on it, right? Absolutely. Or you have to have you know twenty million dollars in order to get it, or something like that. Or they can they can piece it out. They can say we'll give you the gift for a week. You know, go. So I'm, I'm, I'm really after after watching this and thinking about this, I'm thinking that had to have been that had to have been it. But since the time of the of this of this unearthing of this machine to where we are now with our Sonny and our Widow characters and all that kind of stuff, what happened between then and now after after this machine started giving power to everybody? One of my big points is. There's no guns. And if you don't know that there's no guns and no one's seen a gun in hundreds and hundreds of years in the Badlands, then you're not watching carefully enough. But there are no guns. Try taking guns out of the world that we know of today and eliminating all guns. That's in, It's an impossible thing. Would it be a good it's, thing? Yeah. That's, you know what I mean? I, I'm thinking after all it's said and done. Let me just finish this and then yeah, you let... Yeah. After all it's said and done. After... after this person is given the gift. This person is given the gift. This the gift is taken away. There must have been some kind of peace. There must have been this group of people that decided to say, "Hey, listen, we'll all take this kind of um, path where we're going to take it away from us." Sounds like we, a global disarmament, is what you're saying. Exactly. And I don't necessarily think it's going to be many. Like, I'm not. I'm not sitting here guessing how many people were left after after um, all was said and done with with the Meridian Chamber. Let's close it down, right? Let's shut this thing. That's maybe why it's buried. Let's let's not give this power to anybody anymore. Let's destroy the weapons that we know of in this world. That listen, imagine Sunny or anyone w- or Pilgrim with a gun, as well as having the gift. So back then, these people could have been running around with the gift, with weapons, all this kind of stuff. So there must have been some kind of peace. There must have been some kind of group that survived, obviously, and seeded 
who we see now, the widows and the pilgrims and all this kind of stuff. And that's why there's no guns there. I think that after the beginning with the chaos, there was must have been some kind of peace 100 years after, 200 years after, whatever it was, uh, enough time to eliminate weapons and getting to where we are now with, with the characters. Um, I know we've been talking a lot, but what do you, what do you think about that? Do you, do you agree with that? Well, you know, we're, this, this, this theory just really is just a series of, of questions that, that we have, that we all have, you, me, and everyone mm-hmm. watching, right? Mm-hmm. There's a couple of things that... A couple of things that, that I have to bring up. One, the gift is passed down. It's hereditary. We see that. We see that Sonny has the gift. Yeah. It's locked away, but his son has it. So, Someone regardless, must have kept it. So, regardless of whether or not there was a peacetime and things mm-hmm. were shut down and it was shut in the system, was shut, and they said, you know what, this was a bad idea, guys. Shut yeah. it down. They didn't. They must not have realized the elders or the ancient ones that it was. It became part of your DNA, and you could pass okay. it down. Okay. So I may be agreeing with you that it may have been. It may have been a global decision to put it to to stop the project or whatever the case may be. Yeah. And there was a peacetime, right? No, no weapons. No weapons of mass destruction. No w- guns. No more wars. You know, it might have been the thing that the world needed to stop that. However, there were ones that maintained that power. It was never all taken away or some were born with it or whatever the case. It happened. It persisted. So essentially, once this power, right, once this power had been unleashed. Once it was through your veins or something, maybe it's something that you now can pass down. It goes dormant or whatever, right. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Excuse me, but what I'm saying is, regardless, it, 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 you know, it never, it still stayed with them. It still stayed with, with civilization. Yeah, and that that's was a, a good downfall. point. The other thing that I have to bring up, and I know there's counterpoints to this, especially in season three so far. Mm-hmm. I'm still, I was, I don't know, I may still be convinced that this is an alternate universe or that this isn't Earth. I'm The only reason why I, I, I contradict myself is we saw the cab that said NYC Taxi. Yeah. But that, so then, so then if it's not an alternate, if it's not a, a different planet, per se, not Earth as we know it, or then it's a di- an alternate universe. I mean, yes, yes, it can be. I, I don't know what I want. I don't know whether I want it to be an alternate universe or do I want it to be our, as if the Meridian Chamber was created in our time. Let's say found, they found it in 2018. 500 yeah. years later is where we are in Badlands. The, yeah. other, the other question that I bring up, and yes, we bring up a lot of questions, but this is a theory video, so what else is there to do but bring up more questions That's to answer right. questions is... Without the with the absence of guns and weapons of mass destruction, we turn now back to bladed weapons, crossbows. There are still mechanisms. Mike, they still have cars. Yeah. No, if you true. have a mechanical car and you have the ability to create fire like in bombs, they have bombs. Things are on fire. And if not bombs, they at least have gasoline. You know, they never, they never discussed like, like a, like a cocktail. Oh wait, didn't they, Oh, there was an oil refinery. Didn't, didn't, they yeah. fi- didn't Chow have the oil refinery or, yeah. or no, the widow had the oil refineries. Um, I think the widow had the oil refineries because it was Quinn. Maybe Quinn was no Quinn had the Quinn right? had the poppy fields, I think, and I think she, the widow, had the oil refineries because I remember there was that fight last season. Or was it? No, it was definitely. I think it was last season that she fought Chow or something, or somebody fought at the oil. I'm pretty sure there was a refinery, right? Am I wrong? Yeah, no, there's definitely an oil refinery. Okay, so we have there's still crude oil. Like obviously, gas is not, a, you know, it's a commodity. It's not a thing that obviously is all around. But obviously, there's enough of it though, because yeah. you have you have Moon can driving re- around and refine it. You know but that's I mean? my thing. You have Moon driving yeah. around all willy nilly. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't seem to be like, well, I have to. I'm going to take horseback here. I'm going to do this here. They still mm-hmm. have horseback. You know what I mean? Like there's glimpses of it's, the old. Yeah. Tire. So it's like it's like how far. And they understand how it works. Right. You know. And you it's know not, what I mean? It's not archaic to them. It's just oh yeah, no. this is it. You know. But this is again, what we're left with, like remnants. But we're, that's my point. So so what so what. We still don't know what was that thing that, 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 you know, this is kind of turned into what happened to the guns video too, I guess, you know, but like where exactly where, what happened with all that? Did they, did they put them in the bottom of the ocean because it was a war because it was peacetime? I don't know. But yeah. either way, um, 
that I mean that's it, man. I mean, I think your theory, I think I think you have a good you have good points. I think yeah. what did happen? What are those things? And obviously we're not answering any of these things. You, Mike and I are not answering anything for you. We're here to just no. present the question, bring up some theories. These are our theories. These these are what we think may or may not have happened. Uh, so you will, know. will we ever get any of these answers? Like we've always talked about, and to get to your point quick about um, an alternate universe or anything like that, I, I would have to disagree. I don't think it's an alternate universe. Okay. I just think that it's um, I, the NYC taxi thing. I think is purposely put in there. They wouldn't have put that there for any other reason but to let us know that they're still on planet Earth. Um, I think also in season two when. Um, uh, it was um, MK and they had like the Christmas decoration. They were in like an old store or something like that. And it, it's, it's, it's just giving us glimpses of, of the old world and like yeah. you said, cars and with the oil refineries and some remnants of what, you know, this blacksmithing of making these, these arrowheads and, and swords and things like that. So I think it's definitely um, an awesome, an awesome an awesome idea and an awesome theory because so many of us can have our own perspectives and points on what, on what happened. That was just a little bit of, of ours. So, um, so that's I mean, it. So having said that, tell yeah. us what you think. Let us know in the comments below, of course, your ideas. If you think we're off, if you have your own ideas, uh, it's just a fun, it's a fun video. We wanted to get out there because ever since we got this, um, this, this Meridian chamber, there's just so many questions that arose and yeah. we know of its power and its capability. So get those comments in there. Write us at third person pod. Of course, check us out at third person pod on Instagram and on Facebook and on iTunes and just, ch just check it, check us out. And we know you guys love these videos. So uh, thanks share for them. love with that. Exactly. Share them. Tell everyone that loves the show. Share, share it out there. Get out there. So let's yeah. get more people watching. <laughs> Uh, that's it. Thank you, guys. We'll see you on the next Into the Badlands uh, Theory video. Peace.